Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to talk about five ways that you can earn respect from others at work. Now this is assuming that you're doing all of the given things like doing good work. These five things are things that a lot of times it can be tempting for any of us to not do, but do these and you will earn respect. Number one, never be afraid to ask questions if you need more information on something or if you don't understand something. Now this sounds so basic. However, I have so many clients that have shared with me that they don't really understand everything that they need to, maybe to finish a project or maybe to do a specific task and they try to go and figure it out themselves because they feel just too uncomfortable admitting that they don't know everything or they need more clarification. When you say, I need more information around this or I don't understand this, people are actually going to respect you for that. They're going to respect that you're confident enough to admit that you don't know. Sometimes it's something as easy as, asking when the deadline for something is. So many times people will give you a task or a project and they don't give you a deadline. And so you're thinking, I don't really know like when is this due or if there even is a deadline. To even ask a simple question like that, when is this due or when do you need this by, shows confidence and people will respect you for it. The second way to earn respect from others is by being timely. Being timely not only to work, but being timely for any meetings. Actually showing up early. It shows two things. Number one, it shows that you can manage your time well. And number two, it shows that you think whatever it is that you're showing up for is important. When you think back to when you interviewed for this role or for your job, you most likely were very timely for your interview for that first meeting, but we tend to get comfortable. But you remember back in the beginning, you were timely because you wanted to send the message that this was important and you didn't want to be late. So continue to do that and people will respect you for it. Now, before we get to number three, I hope you'll press like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Number three, never miss a deadline or if you're going to miss it, let the person know as early on as possible that you may not be able to make the deadline. As my husband says, either you follow through or you follow up. So often it's tempting to think, well, it's okay if I turn it in a little bit late because I've had some issues but actually respecting the deadline and being able to communicate that proactively if you're not able to turn something in, is going to help people trust you and respect you, knowing that if they give you something, that you're gonna turn it in by the deadline or you are going to let them know if you can't. Number four, never ever make excuses. Sometimes you're gonna have a reason. Maybe it's a reason why you missed a deadline or maybe it's a reason why there was an error in something or why you messed up with something. And it's okay to give reasons behind something, but never make excuses. So what's the difference between a reason and an excuse? A reason is where you're not shifting the blame, but you are explaining the situation without shifting the blame to the external. Whereas an excuse really is a shifting of the blame to external. And I've got a video above and in the description below that gives the differences between a reason and an excuse. So be sure and check that out. And number five, a great way to earn respect at work is to avoid chiming in with gossip. And noticed I said chiming in because we all know that we shouldn't be the initiator of gossip. We shouldn't be the person that's starting it. But so often it is tempting when somebody else starts to gossip about maybe somebody else in the office at work or maybe even a customer. It's so tempting to chime in and agree with the person. I was actually guilty of starting gossip just a few weeks ago 
and I came to respect the person that I was gossiping to. I was in the grocery store and there were these kids in there and they were on another aisle and they were being so loud, so loud. They were just laughing. They were just squealing. They were just so disruptive but they were having a good time, but it was just kind of irritating to me. So when I was checking out with the grocery store cashier, I heard him again. And so I even gossiped to the grocery store cashier saying, those kids are being so loud. And he just looked at me and he smiled and he said, they sound excited. And I was actually convicted thinking, oh my gosh, he could have so easily chimed in and agreed with me but he wasn't going to say anything bad and it made me respect him more plus it made me quit gossiping about them because i felt bad at that point now do you have some other ways that you have earned respect in the workplace and you would like to share those if so please do that in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other thanks for watching